What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Sample School Sundays. That's right, that's right. Another episode of Sample School Sundays, y'all. Um, today's episode, I'm going to try to make it a short episode. I came across this Serato sample or Serato sampler. The title of it is Serato Sample. If you're familiar with like um, the Serato, what DJs use is like the digital turntables. They used to they started off using CDs as a um, as a turntable, and then it it morphed into this. You could plug in your iPad, your iPhone, any kind of digital device to like you know to DJ sets at parties. And here in 2017, they've upgraded to a VST plugin for well I'm using it in Studio One but I seen where people used it in Ableton people use it in Machine um those are the only DAWs that I've seen outside of Studio One that is used and I I had this for a couple weeks now but I could never get it to open up in uh Studio One my version of studio one and they recently emailed me about a uh, updated version of this software and i updated the version and then it opened up in studio one so i was hella happy and i you know i've been messing with it for a couple days now and i kind of got it but i don't got it fully so what i'm pretty much do is uh walk with you guys through this episode and showcase the capabilities and the functionalities of it and also try to create something and have have a a a beat made you know and if we don't have a beat made we just we got some education in this sample school sunday i should name it uh serato sample school sunday <laughs> i might name it that but yeah pretty much that's that's what we got today i am doing this ahead of time so it'll be able to be uploaded on the channel on time because i missed um an upload last week and i kind of had it you know centered around the whole mother's day you know I wanted to do something special for Mother's Day and I missed the upload and I didn't feel like, you know, I missed that that chain of events. So I didn't want to still put it up. So I might put it up in the future or, you know, some bloopers, bloopers. I might I might do some bloopers. But without further ado, I'm going to get right into this. So we have an instant of, um Serato loaded up for my Studio One users. If you want to know how you get to it, you would pretty much go into um, instruments and right here where it says Serato that's pretty much it I'm gonna go ahead and update this uh, the folder there we go I might update it again when I get some 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 cool stuff in here but if you ever want to know how to update your thumbnail when you have a, a instance of a plugin open, you just uh, you go to this little arrow right here next to the title of the plugin. You click the down arrow and right here where it says update plugin thumbnail, you just click that and it'll update to whatever is currently on the screen. So we're going to go into files. Wherever you have your files located at, that's where you would go and pull your samples from. I have my samples on an external hard drive in a folder titled samples and I'm going to just randomly pull from something. A lot of these samples in here I've messed with periodically over the years. A lot of them um, I kind of, you know, in my beginning stages, this folder is like maybe six, seven years old. And in my beginning stages of producing, I, well, it's not, it's not seven years old. 
Well, it's about six years old. Five. At least five years old. And when I first started producing, you know, all I wanted to do was samples. So I was digging samples, finding them anywhere I could get them from. And I pretty much um, got a ton of samples. So I'm going to just go in here and I'm going to randomly pull from... Let's see. All right, something called Sunday from the moments. So I just drag and drop it. And as you can see, it pulls it up on the um on the screen here in this lovely color. And we're now able to See, that's the first chop, per se. That would be the first chop. All right, so it starts from when you're using your MIDI um, controller. I'm using a the Akai MPK Mini. So it's pretty much kind of like the same thing if you was using an MPC or you was using um, Studio One's Sample One um, plugin. It's the same thing. Pardon me for jumping all over the place, but I want to like give you guys a clear picture of what this actually is and what it does. So you know I've done videos in the past utilizing the Sample One sampler and I've sampled inside of it. But my go-to to, to do samples usually will be from the MPC and I'll sample inside the MPC and I'll chop up the samples with uh, within the MPC. So in this case with um, Serato Sampler or Sample, you're able to do the same things, but it's a little bit different, but it's also way easier, right? So I'll hit it starts from C1 to, I believe, uh, well, it goes up 16 levels. So as you can see right here, there are 16 pads, and they all have different colors. The colors, I believe, is for different frequencies, like red would be like percussive sounds up to yellow. Now we all know what that sample is. Um, so you you you'll hit your pad or your key, and then you start to choose where you want to hit the next one at. So so that's that's two. I did that so see I just did it again I'm going to highlight this one and I'm going to send that one into the trash. I'm going to highlight this one and I'm going to send that one also into the trash. So this is you no know, So see, it gives you 16 choices, and I don't think you can go any further than 16 
Let me see. See, yeah, it says that's, that's it. See, right here. Stop. See, it says it says F2 is out of range. Shift octave down to C1. So basically, once you get to G, once you get to G, that's it. All right, so that's if you want to do your chops inside of it yourself. Now, the fun thing about one of the best things of the NPC that all NPC uses, whether they admit it or not, they all utilize the threshold chop and the region chop. And what the region or the, the threshold chop as you can see here, these little, all these, all these work marks, all these lines are called threshold or the attack point, right? In this, in an NPC, when you chop using threshold, it hits every, every attack. So then... The NPC, you can have up to 120 something, 128 chops, I believe. It'll if there's that many in there when you when you apply it, you'll have 128 chops. And a lot of producers they front like they be using um, the manual chop, you know. And then they also have regions where chop it by regions: 16s, 32s, 64, 128. You know what I'm saying? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the in comparison of what that would be in the Serato sampler. So in here, set slicer is this is would be the same as threshold or slice at region. And there you go. So it just sliced it at the region. All right, so that's all 16 chops. And then what you can do is, if you want to move down, you'll just simply move it down. So now I moved it down. So I believe you can move back as well. All right, so and then I don't really remember what this was. Let me see. All right, so that's pretty much um we're going to clear all so it clears it from all the the uh the chops that we pre previously had I want to bring it back to the beginning though I'm back at the beginning and I pretty much want it to start from around here so the next option we have is 
is find samples. Now we'll hit find samples. Now it found some samples. Sunday was a Friday. All right, so this arrow right here is like if you're on from an NPC, you're an NPC user and you sample from the NPC, we have one shot and we have no on. So this is the hold parameter. So you gotta hold the pad or the key in order to play the entire note. This is the trigger. So the trigger is the trigger is equivalent to um, one shot. Sunday was a Friday. So one thing I, I would wish they would do. And it's still in beta beta stages. I wish they would uh you know you're able to control the the transport or the play, play and stop from your uh from your MIDI controllers. So that's pretty much everything. Oh there's one other uh selection, I'm gonna clear all again. And I'm going to show y'all real quick. It's set random. So this is just random um, placements of these, of these uh, pads. All right, so those are all the, the slicing capabilities and the functionalities of it. The other functions that we have here, like this is the play. That's play and play stop, play pause. Again, the trigger and hold. And this section is where it shows you the title of the song, the MP3 file. And also... Let me make this a little bigger because it's looking a little small for me. <laughs> you get the key, which this is in key A minor. You get the tempo of the song. This is this is the game changing thing here. For any sample bass producer out here, this is a game changer because we always want to know what the key of the sample is. So when we try to tune it, pitch it, do whatever we do to it. We know if we if we go up to without knowing what it is, well, damn, we went up to, but we didn't know what we went up to from. So when we try to add other instruments in to the, the sample, we're kind of like feeling around and fiddling around, although, you know, there's workarounds that as well. But this come out the gate letting you know what the tune, what the key of it is, the root key as well as the the tempo you can't beat that can't beat that with a bat <laughs> or with a pad <laughs> all right so it tells you the title the key the tempo then over here where it says key you're able to go up or down an octave this is a game changer y'all i'm telling you this is a game changer all right so now we just went up remember we was over here right so that's that's currently a minor all right so now we're gonna go up one
right? So that's going up one octave. Now we're gonna go up, we're gonna do some chipmunk shit. We're gonna go up plus six. Right, so we did some chipmunk music real quick. Now the other thing is um, the sync. So we have sync here, and you're able to sync it to whatever your BPM, your tempo currently is. So my current uh, tempo or BPM by default, right? I didn't, I didn't do any any adjustments is yet is at 120 so I'm gonna sync it to 120 so now let's see what it does let's bring it back down to its original All right, so then you can do times two. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who be dancing to that, but you know what I mean? Then you could go half time. Half of that. And you could go half of that. And you could go half of that. <laughs> and then you could go half of that. And then you could go half of that. Then half. Now that's as much as <laughs> that's as that's as many halves as, as it as it lets you go but um go back up to its original so as you can see there is just a lot of fun stuff that you could do with this um this this sampler as a vst plugin it's dope man it's off the hook so what i'm gonna do real quick is i'm gonna um I'm gonna see if I could come up with something off top with with uh with with this. I'm gonna select all, I'm gonna clear it. I'm gonna bring this back to I'm gonna see if I could come up with something real quick. Um Let's all clear. I'm going to do find samples. And I'm also going to go down to about, I don't know. At 85, let's say 85 BPM. And let me see. Go up like six semitones.
So I like I like this pad right here. So the other thing you could do, the other thing you could do since I like that pad, I'm a I'm a save that pad. I'm a star it. I'm a favorite it. And I'm gonna show y'all why I did that. I'm gonna find some more. So I like I like those three out of out of uh those sixteen. So I'ma clear all and as you can see I only have those to remain. So what I do now is that I hit find samples and it just found me uh thirteen new samples. All right, so I got these samples, very random, very random stuff, y'all. So what I'm going to quickly do is I'm going to see if I can come up with a sequence. Two, three, go. Of course, not on. see how that play out so I recorded five let's play it and see all right let's do that again So one thing I don't I'm I'm not liking with with the uh I don't know if it's just how I'm playing it or what but I can't seem to get the timing to line up correctly. So it's a little bit off. Thank you. 
All right, so for right now, we're going to work with that. What I'm noticing is that the notes cannot overlap inside the the, uh, the MIDI notes cannot overlap. So we're going to work with that. I'm going to, um, on the flip side of this, I'm going to have the MPC loaded up and I'm going to drop some drums under it. And we're going to try to make something of this whole spizzle of a dizzle and sample skizzle. Sun Dizzle, your Vizzle, my Nizzle. All right, so I got some some drums. I'm a, I'm uh I'm gonna play out a basic uh drum loop four bar drums sequence and see what I get out of that. Make sure I take off this uh. Record enable and I'm gonna do that real quick at it. Bring it back. Cash that. Nah, that wasn't good. Let's get it again. Like that you got a beat you know what I'm saying so after you got your drums laid down basically now we know we're gonna work with those drums we also know that we're gonna work with these these sample chops but what we're gonna do is we're gonna reopen Serato sample go back to these these chops that we have laid take off record enable 
put monitor on. gonna lay that down put record enable on I'm saying and then now we got that so we'll title that we say something like this is we'll say yo this is real random off topic have y'all ever been chilling and your iPhone is next to you and you're working and then it talks to you like I don't know if y'all can see that Cause I got this thing on my screen, but it, it says some things you can ask me, find a good pizzeria, go to my photos from last night. Like I didn't press anything on the iPhone. It was just sitting here. I'm talking to y'all and it just, it won't even come out of that. Like this shit is crazy. Technology is weird. But anyway, what you could do is what I was trying to say is that say I'll go to this event right here and I'll rename it. I'll say this is gonna be the for the four verse. Four verse, right? One, right? Then I'll go back here and I'll name this one four hook one, right? So now I know I have these two events. I move that now. And then I'll go back to Serato and then I'll say I'll try to come up with something else. saying and then you got that going you title that like you already got for verse one you could say for verse two for verse two and this could be whatever you want to title it 
I'm just titling it something so that I know when I go back to it, I will have it ready to just go. So now we have these three different sequences going, right? What I can do is I could extend this and just let it loop. If I want those drums to stay the same, I just let it loop. Like that you got a joint, know what I'm saying? And then it makes it so much easier since you already know what key you're in, you could just go ahead and add something to this. You know what I mean? And we're gonna we're gonna go into that real quick. So on the flip of this, when this flips over, because you know I'm editing I'm editing this up. This is gonna be professionally looked this episode of serato sample school sundays y'all thank y'all so much if y'all made it this far into the episode please do subscribe if you're not already subscribed if you are subscribed thank you for your subscription be sure to hit the notification bell after you do subscribe so you'll be notified anytime we upload any new content on the channel all right so what i'm gonna do now is again when it flips over you'll see i'm gonna have some instruments loaded and i'm gonna play along or try to play along it might be out of whack because i'm doing this all off the top freestyling there's nothing really um i don't know exactly what i'm gonna do until i do it you know what i mean so i am bk bkbangers.com thank you so much again and yeah on the flip i see you on the flip All right, so I've had I got a, a instrument open, and I'm just doing it for the sake of showing you guys how to find. Since you already know the tone from the key, because it showed you the scale inside of Serato, you know that you're in E with with that E flat major or E flat <laughs> minor. EBM. So <laughs> I'm not sh quite sure what scale that is in, but what I do know is that the NPC has a scale situation in here, and I can pretty much set the scale to what that is. All right, so I have this. Those two notes alone, I'm going to play all through these 16 bars. All right? So, rock with your boy. Set this to record. Start it way off. Let's see.
All right, so like that, we got something going real quick, real easy, real simple. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this volume down though. And like that, y'all, we got a beat. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna mute the uh, I'm gonna mute the sample real quick so y'all can hear just the drums and the bass. feel me so now with the sample muted you have something else for you to go through and create from and you started from a sample which you can still utilize a sample within the beat but you no longer need it see what i'm saying so you could start from the sample utilize the sample get the key notes from the sample and work around the sample and cancel the sample and you still got a, a beat that you could still play with and 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 make something from now this is with the sample Now, of course, you know, the sample needs a little bit of filtration, you know, some little, some little accoutrements, the drums need to be, you know, more congealed, consolidated and let it make it sound like as if it's one kit rather than it's being all over the place. But you know what I say, ancient Kemet was not built in a day and there's no need to force greatness. Because 
the great Sphinx still stand up on its own today with, you know, a little separation <laughs> going on. But outside of that, it's still there. So, so as the pyramids are still there. So with that much said, I am BK, BKBangers.com. This has been another Sample School Sunday. This was Serato Sample School Sunday. And I want to thank y'all again so much, man, for um, all you guys that take the time out to stop through and view and check me out. I really appreciate it. You know what I mean? You guys leave comments and let me know some things that I can make adjusted. And it's a work in progress. And I've grown a lot throughout my course of um, just doing this series alone. Just, you know what I mean? Being dedicated to and disciplined to get the series done. Like, I'm not getting paid for this. No one is paying me to do this this stuff. I'm doing it out of the... Um, out of just the love of doing music and production and me being an artist myself and always wanted a pro you know to have that that producer there with me all the time so I didn't have to worry about doing this and you know what I mean and producers come like a dime a dozen nowadays but at the end of the day it's like it's what you doing with the music what you doing with your craft you know what I mean? Make the best time of it. Utilize it. And I'm going off on the tandem, but basically I just want to thank you guys. All the um the producers out there who connect with me, who chime in on any one of my videos. I salute to all of you guys. You know what I mean? Um again, if there's any artists out there who are looking for any um instrumentals to record on professionally sounding material head over to bkbangers.com when where we have joints like these and even better ones now there's a there's a limited amount of um instruments up there instrumentals up there right now because we're currently revamping this the website revamping the store and we're pulling down um things that wasn't you know quality forget quantity we want more quality so you know the, the ones that's up there right now is is cool enough but within the end of the month to the, the starting of the new month we'll have tons of new material up there ready to go for any artists out there looking for any instrumentals if you want any um custom made instrumentals raps for for rap i i do hip-hop rap r&b mostly hip-hop and rap um which is one and the same i you know i mess with trap sounds here and there but anyway if you want any custom made beats feel free to to you know post up a comment um hit the messenger if you have a youtube account if not um, when you're at the website, visit the website and you'll be able to, uh, you know, hit the about section and there's an email up there. There's also a link in the des description of all my videos and of the about page on YouTube. So without further ado, I've reached my time well over my time right now. I want to thank you again. Be sure to leave a comment down below. I will do some more in detail um, Serato sample videos. If you guys would like that, want to know how to really get in too deep with it, <laughs> in too deep. You want to really know how to get into it and the, all the functionalities that I, I really, you know, ran over them. I didn't get all the way in full detail with them. Again, it's in beta. So um, if you have, it's it's available in Mac and PC and AU and VST 64 and 32 bit. So you have no excuse. It's free. So if you're a producer out there and you're watching this, go out there and go get this. This is dope. It'll, if you're a sampling producer and you use the sampling from vinyl, it's somewhat similar to that. If, you, if you're an MPC or a machine-based producer, trust and believe when I say 
depending on your level and your skills, you could far do this way better than I have. You know what I mean? Or how I have displayed throughout the course of this video. All right? And I'm going to leave it at that. All right? Again, I am BK, bkbangers.com. Do remember that music is life. It is our DNA. All right? Keep banging, y'all. Peace, love, and light. Till next time. Peace.